<laughs> what is up, my Nation boy? That Black Camera, and I'm back on a mic. And well, this image been sent to me a lot recently regarding Smash Brothers uh, 3DS and Wii U version. And this particular image you're seeing on the screen right now is an image that people want me to really discuss and talk about. It's going around, going around the internet a lot lately, so I guess you know since people want me to talk about it, so I bet I'll talk about it. Now, regarding this image, um, I do I believe in the fact, and I really seriously believe there's going to be DLC for this game. I don't know, it could be stages, it could be costumes, or it could be characters. Now, now before you open up the, the, the book of Sakurai and lay down a Sakurai quote, let me say it again, that Sakurai is brilliant at throwing people off. Anything he says, everyone believes. I'm not saying I don't believe everything Sakurai is saying, but as an individual who actually thinks about a lot of things, mostly, or have an open-minded opinion, I don't believe every single thing I'm told. That's just who I am. You can call me ignorant. You can call me foolish. Call me whatever you want to call me. That's just how I am. I don't believe every single thing I'm told. And by the way, as much as Sakurai's been saying all this stuff, DLC is going to be in Smash Brothers because in all honesty, if if Hyrule Warriors is getting DLC, I'm pretty sure any game that Nintendo makes get DLC at this point. And what what better business practice would it be to not have a fighting game having to make a fighting game having DLC regarding they probably saying what are you talking about at this point, Brandon? Well, let me go ahead and hop into this. Uh, with most fighting games, I like DLC if it's done and handled the correct way. Everything in life is not going to be free, so I'm not expecting anything free because I believe that Hyrule Warriors DLC actually costs money. I believe, but. What I'm trying to get at is the fact that when it comes to most fighting games, that I, I'm a huge fighter fan. Like I said, I got Soul Calibur, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Marvel vs. Capcom 1, 2, Tekken 6, Tekken 5. I can just go off on here. I got a lot of fighting games down there. I can just keep continuing <laughs> going on here. But if I really support the game and I just love Smash Bros, I'm willing to pay any amount of money to get the characters or to play as the characters, to be honest with you, if there's character DLC. Now, these characters, I'm saying, take this with a grain of salt. Don't easily assume that this is real. It's just me, me just me thinking. I think everything is fake until you have a certain amount of proof or video footage. Now, some people have been saying that this particular image you see starring everyone's most requested characters, Wolf, Lucas, and Mewtwo. Everyone is basically saying that this image is fake. It's just their trophy or the trophy model turned to an angle and basically highlighted or darkened black around there to make it seem like they're on the roster. But let's be honest with ourselves, if character DLC were to occur, I'm pretty sure these three would be most likely the ones that people would really want. I really think that people would buy the game just to get those characters back. Also, let me just t briefly discuss a few of them. Uh, if you look at Ness's custom moves, most Ness custom moves consist of Lucas's old moves. So I want people to know that. Mostly that's why people are kind of disconfirming Lucas and oh no, his moves are basically just like no oh Ness's custom moves are basically kinda like Lucas's. So that disconfirms him. I wouldn't necessarily say that. I mean, who knows? I mean, don't don't even sit there and talk about anything when we have Dr. Mario and Mario and freaking dark pit and pit don't don't even you bring that up with me okay um mewtwo mewtwo you know i'm a mewtwo fan i love i love the first generation pokemon and mewtwo is just that telekinetic cool butt kicking pokemon i'm just a huge fanboy for that and beyond, and i like to play the villains anyway mewtwo was a villain not anymore but in the original pokemon movie he was a villain and wolf oh man dude come on wolf dude that dude is on point I, I like my villains in my games. Most, you know, nine times out of ten, mostly the villains seem to be the most funnest characters to use. We have the cheap moves anyway. Wolf ain't got nothing cheap, but I like Wolf. I like him. But I'm saying that look at this picture though, and don't take it to heart. Just keep in mind here that someone obviously made this. A lot of people are saying someone is still holding on to this. They should drop it. I'm not confirming anything, and I'm not disconfirming anything, but I am reporting on this image. I want to know what you guys think about this image. You know I mostly stay neutral with a lot of things. You guys let me know about this image. What do you think about it? Fake, real? What are the DLC characters you want? I know we discuss DLC a lot of the time. I know what someone's saying. I'm getting sick of that black camera talking about DLC. But DLC is a, long, is a lasting appeal to a game. We're going to continue to play the game as long as there is DLC. DLC will make you go back to play the game. And I hope to God that we get balance patches. I love balance patches to certain games. Smash Bros. be one of those games that I'm really hoping that Nintendo, Nintendo and Namakai a Bandai really harp in on that. Nemco Bandai is known for just having good games, period. 
But next next time we, we bring up the discussion, we're going to talk about exclusive Wii U characters. Will they be exclusive Wii U characters and stuff like that? But later, guys, God bless. Peace. Have a wonderful day. Later, the Banana Nation.